All right, welcome back to another Koenji Sean Reviews. And recently I've been picking up just a ton of art books, mostly manga adjacent. Um, as some of you may know, I'm opening up a web shop to sell some of my manga art books and retro magazines to people overseas um, because all, a lot of my stuff in my collection is ultra rare, really hard to find and especially hard to find overseas. So I've been really beefing up uh, the website recently uh, so that I can launch it maybe next month or something. And so I thought I'd show you a few of my favorite art book pickups that I've gotten recently. Um, of course, we have to start with the best of the best, which means Maruo Suehiro's Maruo Graph, 40th Anniversary, DX, Grandioso, Ultimate. So this is pretty much an omnibus of the Maruo, Maruo Graph DX Volumes 1, 2, and 3, which are pretty easy to track down. I was at the Mary Art Gallery exhibition that featured Maruo, Junji Ito, Hino Hideshi, a bunch of people recently, and they had a lot of copies of the single volumes 1, 2, and 3, but this this one is much more expensive and much harder to find. Um, I have one small complaint. So the cover is pretty cool. We have this gold and silver foiling. I love bling, bling, bling. So ain't mad at that. There's the spine of the slip cover, more blingy blingy. And here's the back. The only complaint I have about this book at all is the slip cover is not printed on. It's just paper wrapped around the slip cover, making it quite fragile, which means quite easy to fuck up and then be bummed because you spent a whole bunch of money on a book and you tore the slip cover. So that's my only complaint about this. But other than that, this is a beautiful, beautiful book. Let's look inside. Kind of center it here a little bit. Um, there's a few pages we can't look at because, well, quite frankly, I don't want to get kicked off YouTube again. And also because it's just, I mean, it's a brick of a book. Look at that. So uh, I do not think we can go through absolutely, you know, every page, but let's take a look at it. And the other thing that is awesome about this book ultra rare. I've been looking for this for so long in perfect condition. I wanted one in perfect condition and clearly this one is signed and stamped by Maruo Suehiro. His stamp number 64 of 300. I've seen online some booksellers such as Akro blah 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 selling these for the signed copies for $275. So you can imagine that they're pretty hard to come by, especially because if there's people selling them overseas, that means there's not 300 copies in Japan. I don't know. I just guessed maybe 250 or something. So for me to be able to track down a perfect brand new, brand new, like perfect condition copy, I was very happy with myself. Neurotic and Lunatic. I'm not gonna read everything, don't worry. The color pages are awesome, but there's also some awesome pencil sketches in here, some just ink work. It's just all around beautiful book. And you know, I gotta be honest, I bought this to resell, but I might have to sit on this book for a while cause it is just so damn cool. And like I said, I have a feeling that once I get rid of it, I'm not going to be able to get it again, or it's going to be expensive and difficult to track down again. I do know one other shop that has a copy, but it's also quite expensive and it is not signed. I don't know. I'm a sucker for, you know, things signed by some of my favorite artists in mangaka. It's... The, see the pencil, I, I like these rough pencil drawings, like pre-inking and pre-coloring. But because this is such a big book, let's not dwell too much on that and let's focus on some of the color. This is the beginning of Marograph EX1, which was renamed 
and the 40th anniversary to DX1, 2, and 3. Uh, just some classic Maduro imagery. I lean towards Maduro's horror stuff. I like the Nosferatu image rather than the Eros. I mean, it's Ero Guro. You gotta have the Ero t with the Guro for the Ero Guro, but I do like the Guro and the horror aspects a lot. But, eh, can't be mad. Can't be mad at a little bit of the arrow as well. Um, like this, this kind of like horror imagery is really cool. Some of his stuff comes off as a little bit nationalistic, nearly fascist, but uh, beautiful artwork. I mean, it really is a beautiful book, huh? Oh, gotta skip that page. All right, let's skip ahead to some color since we've gone through quite a bit of Wild. I actually bookmarked that one not to show, but it's just so wild. Got it. Got it. Look at it. Come on, just look at it. So sick. I have quite a bit of Maro stuff. I don't know. Looking at my shelf right now, I mean, the. I wish I knew all the English titles, you know, Laughing Vampire series I have, Panorama, um, Inugami, uh, just, what was the other one, National Kid in English? God, I wish I knew the English titles. I should be looking this stuff up before I do these videos, but I am lazy. I'm not lazy though. Be honest, I'm constantly busy. Today I will be going over to Nakano Broadway at lunchtime to hit up the Gallery of Hakaba Devilman Majinga event. I hear they have some skateboards over there and I want to get a Devilman skateboard. I also got to pick up a couple books for myself and a friend. Uh, looking forward to that. It's so nice living just one station away from Nakano Broadway. I can like bike or skateboard over there in 10 minutes. So sick, right? All right, let's do a little bit more skipping ahead. Let's see, what do we got? So even the black and white, just ink stuff. Recenter this. It's pretty sick. And let's move on to some. Okay. Some more sections here. So there's a nice interview in the middle of this. Let me see what the text looks like. So it's a printed interview, so you could use Google Lens and kind of get an idea of what's going on in the interview. Sometimes when you have like the handwritten stuff or calligraphy or drawn in, that, that Google Lens shit don't work. But uh, I'm looking forward to reading the interview. And they have some essays, Mad George, Inuhiko, Yomota, John Zorn, And here's the manga, the actual Desan. It's pretty sick. 
looking forward to reading that. I mean, regardless, if I sell this in the future or not, I'm definitely going to read every single bit of it before it goes anywhere. Sorry, that's why it's used. But I am very careful with my books. Abreast of Showa. Showa no Nubo. Yeah, it's just, I mean, I can't, I mean, it speaks for itself. It's, it really is a fucking beautiful book. So that, my friends, is the 40th anniversary DX Grandioso Ultimate by Maruo Suehiro. Maru, Maruo Graf. Uh, just some of his classic ones in here as well. Ah... Good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right, I got a few more art books I'd like to show you. So I'll be back in one second and we shall look at some more radness. All right, another rad one I picked up recently is Doroe Doro Sketchbook, of course, by Q Hayashida. We have Kaiman here on the cover. It's pretty thick. This one also is getting harder and harder to track down these days. And since it's a sketchbook, the back is covered with sketchbooks. So I have to admit, I have not read all 23 volumes of Doro e Doro. It's just a big series, you know? I'm playing to at some point because I really, really enjoyed the OVA. I watched the first 12 episodes. I think that they, which was kind of the first season, I think they did six more that I have not seen yet. And, uh, you know, Doro e Doro is one of the most popular series. So, um, you know, I'll be at a ramen shop and it'll be sitting there on the table or underneath the counter and read a little bit here and there, but I really need to break down and just go buy a good set of it. Lots of Kaimon. The Doctor Dude. Kasukabe, maybe? Nikaido. It's cool seeing all of these uh, these sketches, you know, world building sketches. Oh, that's sick. Again, just like uh, Maruo Graph, we're probably not going to look at every page because that would just take too long, but let's kind of get an idea. Uh, Ebisu, my favorite character from Dora Doro. <laughs> so silly. Man, it really is a great series. I mean, most of the time these... Uh, kind of modern anime OVAs of good manga series don't do well. Don't do well, they're not done well, you know? I usually have problems with them, but God, I really enjoyed this. It was my morning routine for a while there. Just wake up, do some stretching in the morning and watch Doro e Doro. Kind of pretend to exercise. Noi! noise rat as well i mean even all even that you know all that you're supposed to not like i don't know if you're not supposed to like the n clan but i like all the characters shin and noi and uh ebisu kaiman new mask yeah noi is ripped Love me some skateboarding. Wouldn't it be dope to have that hanging on your wall? The bug. God, you know what? When I'm over, I, when I'm over at Nakano Broadway today, I'm gonna look and see if they have a full set at a decent price. I mean, I could probably find it online cheaper than Nakano Broadway. The thing about Mandarake, just so everyone knows, is Mandarake is always market price. They usually don't up. Price and they usually don't down price unless it's in poor condition. But the good thing about Mandarake is that they 
only buy things that are in good condition unless it's something rare, you know, like an old Kashihon or something from the 50s or 60s. It's not going to be in great condition, but it's rare. But if it's something newer, like Doroe Doro, they don't buy crap poorly, you know, like beat up uh, copies because there's too many people out there selling. So it is, if you want to get something that you really like and you want it to be in good condition, not, Mandarake is never, never a bad idea. It's always safe. But as far as the stuff that I'm collecting, even Mandarake has a hard time getting their hands on some of the stuff that I collect. So um, with that said, I'm out there digging in the mom and pop shops for books like this. Also, I like a deal. Also, it's fun. Nikaido mask. Where's Satan? I want to see Satan. And the artwork is pretty good. We have some dates and times. 2003, 1016. A little bit before Halloween. Must have been fun drawing this around then. God, this book is really is dope. Here, let's skip ahead to some of the color. So it's basically there's, you know, sketches. It's called sketchbook, right? So pen, ink, and then some color splashed in between sections. And then more pen, pen and ink, and then a little bit more color thrown in there. <laughs> hey, Bisu. Yeah. So maybe since we're limited on time here, maybe I'll skip ahead a bit. Eh, so cute. Yes, I am a psycho. I don't know, you know, like, do I want to, do I have time to read 23 volumes? This is the whole, this is my problem in life, is that I'll be like, yeah, 23 volumes of something I really want to read is rad, um, but at the same time, that's 23 one-shots I could read, or, you know, like, it takes time from other stuff I'm working on. I'm working on a Fukushima video right now. Um, I'm working on a Hiraguchi. Oh, uh, God. I've been collecting some Maeda stuff. Of course, I'm always, always reading, uh, you know, Koike, Kano, Seisaku, like stuff like, so I just, I have just a pile of stuff over here to be reading. So do I have time to read 23 volumes or something? And this is from someone who started reading Berserk yesterday. Ha 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 ha. I am a fool. So sick. All right, let's skip ahead to some more. So rad. Just some more color back here. This is pretty much a must have for any Doro e Doro fan. Man, see, now I'm, I'm buying some books to resell on my site. And then I look at them in more detail and I'm like, I don't want to get rid of this. It's too dope. But actually, this is one, unlike Marograph, this is one which is signed and stuff. This is one I'll, I'll definitely find again in the future. So I actually don't mind losing it temporarily as long as I can find it again. Yeah, man. Front side. I don't know. Tail grab. Kind of like coming up a ramp, up a ramp and coming back in. He probably just... Google imaged someone skateboarding Hayashita to get that kind of right. Sorry, as a skateboarder, I'm a little bit anal about that kind of stuff. And this, my fine friends, is Doro e Doro Sketchbook. Pretty awesome one. All right, let's look at another one. All right, let's start off by taking a look at Berserk Illustrations File, of course, by the master, Kentaro Miura, RIP, passed away, I believe, in December of 2001, last year. Um, 
admittedly, and I, those of you who follow me kind of know this, um, I never read Berserk. So one of my goals for this spring was to read about the first, I believe, I have these Kumbini Bonds. I have the first six, and I believe it goes up to like chapter 31 or something like that. I'm only on like chapter three so far, but I am finally reading Berserk. And this Berserk illustrations file is from two, uh, 1997. Um, it's a hard one to find. I dug hard to try to get this. And when you do find them, sometimes they're like pretty expensive, even here in Japan. So I can only imagine what they go for on eBay, probably around somewhere between 120 and $150. So I figured I might as well make a video of it in case I sell it off just to keep a record of it see what I can do as far as the lighting goes actually you know what let's look at the back first there we go 1997 and a sick poster here in the back and unlike some books which I've complained about in the past they actually printed on both sides of the poster in Berserk the creatures and monsters are my favorite part because yeah I like gross horror and blood and guts and shit like that and there's the contents world guide one sketchbook diary of hawk soldiers world guide two long interview biography and afterward again i'll try to reduce glare as much as i can but eh, what can you do buy the book man track it down now, I'm actually selling this one on my upcoming website, which I'm slowly plugging away at. I think I have about 40, 35 or 40 entries up. But every time I post a book, I have to do a description of it, write the copy, take photos, post pictures. That's pretty sick. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of guts. And monsters. Man, I wish I had more time to sit down and just power through Berserk, but I also have about 15 other books I'm reading at the moment. I had it down to four about two weeks ago, but here I am back up to 15 or maybe even 20 books I'm trying to read. Love me a hand cannon. Ugh. The fetus dropped from the hanging woman. And we have little descriptions up here. This is a cover from 1992. One thing I do know about Berserk, although I'm far from an expert because I'm only on chapter three, is that the art does get better as the series goes on. Miura found a groove at some point. Started killing it. But here, this is, a lot of this is probably early artwork because this came out in 1997. So you could, this is 1994, 1992. I'd actually be <clears throat> pretty dope to uh, get one of his newer art books and do a side-by-side. -side. Who knows, maybe I'll do that in the future. That's 
sick. <coughs> I wonder if this is scanned online. Gang! I've probably spent more time watching videos on Berserk than I have actually reading the series. Sometimes, there's a lot of uh, breakdown videos out there on YouTube. Sometimes I'll play those in the background while I'm pretending to work. I love those colors, just the red and black, that's sick. World Guide. We have some text here talking a bit about the world development. History, characters. But I'm a dumbass. Only on chapter three. No, actually, I, is what I should do is go through this section and read up on all the characters. Now I should just read, sit down and read the goddamn manga. <laughs> trying to find workarounds. It's like I'm trying to find... Uh, the Berserk Guide to Dummies for myself. That section's sick, though. After I get into the series, I'm going to definitely come back to it. Diary of Hawk Soldiers. Smoking. Ah, this is cool. History of Berserk. And some panels. The artwork's dope, even if you don't read Japanese. There is a fair amount in the second half here of Japanese text. Some people use Google Lens, though, just to get kind of a rough translation of what's going on. And here's the long interview with the man himself, Miura, whom I would like to... I'm, I'm definitely going to read this while... And that's something I can read while I'm actually reading the manga. Sick, it'd be nice to have some original artwork. And biography. Mm, bibliography in the afterword. Or the Atogaki. By, written by, Miura himself. And then we have the big poster there. And that, my fine friends, is Berserk Illustrations File from... 1997. Alright, let's move on and look at some more art books. Do you like rare, weird, and just wild manga, retro magazines, and art books? 
then head on over to my Patreon, Koenji Sean Reviews. This is where I post the craziest stuff from my huge collection that is often just too damn hardcore for traditional SNS. For as little as $1 a month, you get one to two exclusive videos per week, plus a look at other things that I'm working on at the moment. So head on over to Patreon, Koenji Sean Reviews. All right, let's get back to it. Well, this isn't all manga, but I wanted to just show you this awesome care package I got from Drew from Epic Comics, and that's comics with an X on the end on Instagram, who was kind enough to send me this awesome care package from America. We were chatting about something about Usamaru Furuya, and he had run, into, run across Shortcuts 1 in English, which is awesome. I don't get to read manga in English very often since it's, you know, I live in Japan. And uh, I'm on about page 14 so far. It's hella fun. It's good. Um, yeah, I'm here to cut seven right now. Fun one to read. So, and then when he sent this over to me, he also sent all of these, which are rad as well. So, I only read a couple so far. I read Jim. Of course, well, read. Jim doesn't really have a lot of text, as many of you American comic collectors know but really fun one. Also, I read Red Room, of course, Ed Piscor. Um, yeah, I mean, everyone could say what they will about, uh, you know, Jim Rugg and Ed Piscor and Kayfabe and stuff, but man, 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 the dude can draw. I read this. I mean, it's not like it's a big read or anything, but it's fun. This is fun. I kind of want to get the rest of the Red Room series. And then some other cool stuff that I'll just show really quick. Some Rick Veit? 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 What, what, what am I saying? I don't know. Um, Veitch. This cover is so sick, though. Looking forward to reading this. As I was saying, I always have a stack of stuff to read, and then I get something awesome like a gift package, and now my stack is even bigger. But man, English, I can just burn through. Um, America's most exciting comic book, Mystery Incorporated. This looks fun. Mayhem on the Mystery Mile. And then Gothic Knights, A Tale of Scarlet Passion. Gothic Knights, love me some bloody, love me some sexy. So, I just want to give a shout out to Drew over at Epic Comics. Thanks a lot, homie. I appreciate it, and I will be definitely sending you a gift package in the future. Well, we are over here at Vanilla Gallery in Ginza for the Dominatrix Heaven event featuring Hajime Soriyama, Katsuya Terada, and Rockin' Jelly Bean. Fun fact, did you know Rockin' Jelly Bean never shows his face and always wears a wrestling mask? That must be uncomfortable, but his artwork, as we can see here, is fucking amazing. So good. And uh, unless there was this little picture icon, you weren't allowed to take pictures in the show at all. But, you know, I kind of did a little bit of this action to sneak some snaps here and there. But uh, I tried to be good. I didn't want to get kicked out before I bought what I came to get. And, of course, I wanted to see the art exhibition. This is one of two rooms. The second room I didn't film in at all. There are other patrons there. I didn't want to bother them. And also, again... I was there to buy some stuff. I didn't want to get kicked out. Hajime Sorayama is awesome. On the right there, you can see Rock and Jelly Bean with some octopus tentacle action. And these pieces are in the Dominatrix Heaven book, which I strongly recommend picking up maybe from me here in the near future. Uh, Terada is always awesome, of course. I have art books by all three of these artists. And I picked up... Uh, some books while he's here so we'll take a look here in a second check out the metal dong over there and this is the um 
So the room in the back is the other room that I didn't film in, and then this is kind of the merch area and the front counter area. But at any rate, let's take a look at what I picked up while I was at the Dominatrix Heaven exhibition. All right, let's take a look at what I picked up while I was over at Dominatrix Heaven, featuring Hajime Soriyama, Rock and Jelly Bean, and Katsuya Terada. It was a great event, as you saw a few clips there in the video here previously. Um, grabbed a handful of books. So first off, of course, I picked up, this is uncomfortable. I haven't done a front-facing video for so long. I have a weird new setup here because I usually just do top-down, but these books are so big my kind of video table doesn't really fit everything so that's why you have to look at my ugly mug and my awesome Koike Keiichi Heaven Store t-shirt. I got this over at Takoshe so you can pick up some rad t-shirts over there. Maduro, um, Koike, just tons of cool stuff over there. But anyways, yeah, Dominatrix Heaven. Of course I picked up a signed copy of the book. Rad. A lot of new pieces in here. The art exhibition was very cool. Um, maybe in the future for my Patreon page, I'll do a flip through of it so you can see some of the new works by Sorayama, um, RJB, and Terada. But uh, not today and not for YouTube. I do not want to get kicked off YouTube again, as I always say. I'm like a broken record over here. And uh, just so that you know and so you can see it in some nice silver paint pen. There's the signatures of some of my favorite artists out of Japan here. Um, yeah, Dominatrix Heaven is a great book. I there's, It was limited to three copies um, per person, per customer. So I picked up three, one for myself and two for others. So be on the lookout for those. Um, got some other books over there as well because uh, they're new and they had a lot of stock out and some stuff that are, is a little bit harder to get these days, like The Birth of Rock and Jelly Bean. This is a rad book. I had this in the past, but I sent my copy to a tattoo artist friend of mine in America that he asked for it and I was like, yeah, I'll send you mine. So I picked this up new. I think I saw it on eBay recently for about $100 US on the US eBay. I don't know, I don't know the UK or EU. You can get your hands on it. Um, I also got Pussycat Kill Kill Kill, new copy. And of course, this is also by the trio of artists. Um, maybe Pussycat Kill 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 is 24, 2018. And, and I also got Tokyo Sweet Gwendoline 2014. And now I'm curious. Which one is which? They put the dates in these at the beginning of the book rather than at the end. Okay, Tokyo Sweet Gwendoline is 2018, so that means Pussycat Kill 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 is 2014. Know my dates, I just don't know what dates go to what book sometimes. So this is rad as well. Um, yeah, I was stoked to go to the event. And uh, these also, I'll do flip throughs up throughs of eventually on my Patreon. Also while I was there, I picked up these funky blind boxes. These are Muku Yoji. So if you're into it, I have uh, some uh, Harukawa Namio stuff, you know, kind of uh, femdom stuff. Um, Muku is from the same era, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, but he was more into bondage and rope work, stuff like that. So he had a bunch of these like little figure toys. And I picked up four of these. Um, I don't know why I only picked up four because there's eight in the set. They had about 10 of them there. I should just bought them all, but I'd already dropped so much money on books. I was like, I'll just pick up a few. Maybe I'll risk it all, open one myself and sell the other three or maybe I'll just keep them. Maybe I'll go back and get more. To be honest, the Vanilla Gallery, which is an awesome gallery in Ginza, is not so far from my office. So I went over there on my lunch break, took a little bit of an extended lunch to go over there. 
and uh, picked up all this stuff, hauled it all the way home. My arms were burnt out carrying all this weight <laughs> by the time I got off the train. But uh, that is what I picked up while I was over there at Dominatrix Heaven featuring Hajime Soriyama, Rock and Jelly Bean, and Katsuya Terada. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being here again. You are all awesome. The best way to support the show, of course, is to hit that sub button. It's really easy and it does a lot for me. And of course, like, share, comment. If you have anything to comment or any questions, I respond to them all down below. Thanks again and I will catch you all in a couple weeks. Matane.